My objective for today's video is simple. I'm going to show you every single functionality of DeepSeek comparative to every single AI chatbot on the market. I'll give you my perspective on where DeepSeek shines comparative to ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, everything above the board. Therefore, let's do it. As of now, DeepSeek is completely free. I'm going to make sure I leave this link in the description down below. Simply click it, hit start now, create an account, and you'll be able to get going. The first major difference between DeepSeek and these other chatbot competitors is we can actually download this to our computer, which may sound really confusing to you, but let me just put it this way. Right now, any chatbot you access is typically through a cloud provider, right? Like you're working on ChatGPT, we're accessing the cloud, the internet. When downloading an AI model to your computer though, think of it like opening a Word doc and not a Google doc where the Google doc instantly saves on the internet where the Word doc is just saved on your computer. So if your computer was like thrown into a dumpster, destroyed, you lose that Word doc. Same situation here. And the reason people typically like downloading AI models on their computer, one for cost, it's free comparative to paying $20 or $200 a month with ChatGPT plans, or alternatively privacy as the conversations that are incurring are incurring on your machine locally. Some of y'all might be like, Corbin, I don't care. But for those that do, I show how to install DeepSeek to your computer in 10 minutes using Olama. I'll make sure I leave that video showing you how to install it in 10 minutes, description down below, First comment. Now let's go to check out the features within DeepSeek here. The UI looks very familiar to every other chatbot we've seen, which is nice. First one we can do is search the internet, which is cool. Think of this like perplexity AI or ChatGPT search. We can say, what is the major news about the stock market? Hit enter here. And this will access the actual internet. Now, typically when chatting with AI chatbots, if you don't click that, it is siloed to information that it's trained on. That is why sometimes when you get an answer from an AI chatbot and you're like, wait, wait, this is outdated. That's because the actual AI chatbot itself was trained on data from like October 2023. Like that was their cap. And funny enough, DeepSeek is getting a lot of wind within the U.S. markets, especially with U.S. tech giants here. So the first story it has here is DeepSeek AI disruption sparks market volatility. Now, the search feature really shines when trying to find the specific source that comes from. So, for example, you're like, you know what? I don't trust DeepSeek. You can go to the underlying source. So, for example, here from CNBC, if I click this, it will open up the relevant article it got this information from. The next feature that comes right out of the box is our ability to attach files. This could be either images or example PDFs. So just to gut check whether this actually works or not, I'm gonna give this pseudo invoice that I have here and upload it. From this invoice, we know that the amount due is 750 right here. Therefore, let's see if this actually works. What is the amount due? And when it comes to analyzing PDFs and using AI chatbots, I'm gonna leave a video right there and in the description down below, I show you how to analyze all bunch of types of PDFs. Whether that is a home plan, a pitch deck, a invoice, like I show you everything in that video, this one's just showing the functionality within DeepSeek here, which is cool because when this market really started for our ability to conversate with AI, we didn't really get the access to attach images and attach files for free. Now it's becoming free. That's why we love capitalism. Some of the drawbacks of free products though and free services is stuff like this. Now, to be honest with you, this happens all the time of OpenAI as well. Like even the people that pay $200 when the servers are down, they're still down for the people that pay $200. So it's a little crazy. So we got our answer here, but I did change the prompt here to add this invoice to give a little bit more context of 750 USD. Now I'll be honest with you, from what I've seen with other chatbots, this was very slow. So keep that in mind. If you are really leaning towards uploading a lot of files and dealing with a lot of files, it's free. So maybe you can compensate for the slowness but it is slow. Let's go to open up a new chat here and we're gonna check out DeepThink. But before we do that, one thing you'll notice regardless of the AI chatbot is we never seem to be able to attach a video or like a YouTube link. I'll make sure I leave this in the description down below, but you can check out bump ups here. This allows you to attach any video, whether it's local or from YouTube and chat with it and get anything you'd ever want. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now coming over to one of its final features here, which is DeepSync. One thing I want to identify as well with DeepSync is it is very limited on its capabilities when it comes to custom instructions, for example. If I go to settings here, we're just provided with like very standard stuff such as language, theme, if you like it light, you like it dark, and then profile. Very standard, nothing too crazy there. Only reason I bring that up is that custom instructions does have its situations where it is very valuable. If you're like, Corbin, what the heck is a custom instruction? This just gives context to AI chatbots before it outputs a chat, e.g. you're coding and you use Firebase as your backend. Every new chat will know you use Firebase as your backend. Or for example, you use an AI chatbot within your business, you load custom instructions with everything about your business so that it knows for every new chat. One more information about that topic, I'll make sure I leave a card right there. 
going over how to set up custom instructions. For now though, when you're using DeepThink though, this is for a more complex task. Now, typically when dealing with more complex stuff, this is where coding gets involved, math gets involved, you know, very, very hard sciences. You could obviously use this in other contexts as well, but the comparison on the market here is that think of DeepThink like the O1 model from ChatGBT, which I did a whole comparison on my channel as well. So we'll get a little crazy here. I'm gonna say code out an entire front end of a React app that looks exactly like this UI. And I'm gonna screenshot this entire UI right here. <laughs> So basically I'm asking for it to code itself. Enter. And using DeepThink here, this is going to take longer for the output to incur, but that's the whole purpose. You want the AI to take as much time as it needs so you get the best and highest quality of outputs. This is how it outputs the code here. Simply copy when you want to copy it and keep going. So as of now, that's everything we can do within DeepSeek. So why would you choose DeepSeek over any type of AI chatbot? Well, the real reason would be whatever your workflow is. If your workflow is very much input output, I'm just here to code, this could be viable here. If your workflow needs something more complex like Canvas from ChatGPT that allows you to render your React UI, go there. Or if you like using Claude artifacts and building out little games and websites that way, then go there. The idea with DeepSeek though, is it seems like it really is trying to go in the direction of being open source. And probably the most competitive reason that you use DeepSeek is to actually install it onto your local machine. And as I already pointed out, if you wanna see that video, description down below, and I'll see you in the next video. DeepSeek, that's how you install into your computer. That's a random video. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.